I'm obviously here with the the launch of the uh, Aviva Premiership uh, Rugby Schools programme, and uh, I think it's been a fantastic start. I had a, a couple of schools here from uh, from the local Bath area, uh, enjoyed themselves in the beautiful English weather. All the players we, we acknowledge it. It's a fantastic sport. We enjoy it. Uh, hopefully the supporters do. Um, and I think it's an opportunity to get get out there, get working with some of the younger school kids that perhaps haven't had an opportunity to play. Um, and um, we're in a great location today, so uh, I think they'll all enjoy themselves. I think it's fantastic that Aviva are, um, are putting so much money uh, into into the young the young potential players out there. Um, obviously, secondary schools they get uh, plenty of rugby going on uh, around the UK, uh, but I think the primary schools will sometimes get missed out. I think we've seen there with all the boys and all the girls getting out there, enjoying themselves, playing a bit of touch rugby. Uh, it's a fantastic sport. Uh, for all the kids to enjoy. We play in a fantastic league, you know, the Aviva Premierships, it's a brilliant competition and it gets stronger every year. Um, I think we know um, uh, we'll be up against a very tough Leicester side and I think Leicester will appreciate, um, you know, it's a, in a far more improved bath team. Um, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, it'll be a tough game, no doubt, uh, always always is, uh, but we'll certainly be very keen to get a good result. What do you put that improvement down to within the Bath side? What, what, what's made that difference? I think we've obviously improved the squad. Uh, there's been obviously a few key signings. A couple of guys have come from Leicester to Bath, who's been good for us. Uh, but also the, the, the coaching team we've got, um, and obviously the, the new facilities that you know we're obviously here today. This is this will be our kind of headquarters, and the team will move in here in, in a few months. Um, so it's all exciting times at the club. Um, uh, very much a, a good place to be. And with Simon Taylor, um, Tom Biggs, we've got some great players that have come into the club. Um, you know, I think um, you know we're playing exciting rugby. Um, we've got a, a fairly young squad, um, but it's sort of well balanced with a few experienced players in there. Myself being sort of one of them. Um, but yeah, I think we're, we're all in, all enjoying ourselves. So hopefully, it's a, it's a place where players want to come to. Um, firstly, for the rugby, but also the, the environment here and off field. You know, we're looking to expand with all the the talk of the stadium. Um, I think it's it's definitely an exciting rugby club at the moment. And what are the targets for this season? Certainly, I guess silverware is the is the only target, surely. No, I think with every with every team in the Premiership, they'll they'll want to do uh, they'll want to do well. They want to win, and uh, we're certainly one of those. Um, yeah, we came close last year, and uh, we're looking to improve on that. Yeah, I think my personal targets are the same as the same as uh, every year. You know, I want to I want to get out and play as well as I possibly can, and make sure I'm I'm playing a valuable part. Um, in the Bath team and hopefully uh, it's a very successful year. Do you ever give up on, on that as an idea of representing England again? Do you always sort of push that aside or is it always something that if ever asked you might consider? You know, even when I, when I was lucky enough to get to play for England it was never something I always, uh, 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 never a target I set myself. My target was always do well for my club, do, do the best I can for the team I'm in and then if that goes well then there's chances um, you know and uh, you know it's, it's no different now. Um, but I think you'll find there's a lot of players um, pushing hard and doing a good job at the moment for England. Uh, I think we'll see an exciting autumn awesome series. Uh, three or four years ago, there was um, you know Ben Kay, Martin Johnson, who kind of really held down their positions there. Uh, but now there's a kind of broader view of players um, all pushing for places. Uh, and I think it sort of keeps, certainly the second row, I think it's, it's still open. Uh, but yeah, certainly Courtney Laws is looking very strong. Uh, but I think there's a lot of other players in there who will keep pushing hard for places.